yeah, I, really good for the first five. Pretty ugly for the second half. Um, but uh, we got ourselves in the one-two game, and we earned two shots at making the final. So I uh, just got to stay positive and uh, try to try to take some things away from that game, like uh, what the ice was doing and stuff like that. And uh, there's still, you know, there's a lot to be said for for playing and and playing your way through these things. We've we've done it before um, in events, so uh, just. It's it's unfortunate we didn't make it to the to the final. Um, we we've sat around before and and uh, we know what that feels like to just sit around for whatever 48 hours and and that's I mean they have a shot at winning the Briar. We would have taken that too. But uh, um, it, hey, it is what it is. We're going to keep our chins up and uh, we're going to learn from what uh, just happened out there and move on. Just on the on the in off attempt, uh, what was the thought process there? You, you had yeah, a- I mean. It, it was kind of framed. Uh, I liked it. it. It suited my eye, and that's really all that matters, I think, when we need to throw a shot like that. Um, I think we took a little too much broom down a, a little bit of a straight spot, just kind of ran. And uh, like I said, we need to learn from those types of things and hopefully in, go into the, whoever our opponent is uh, whenever it is tomorrow uh, and not make those mistakes again. They got some rocks in some good spots. Uh, we didn't. We had a really terrible seventh end. I think Caleb said that was our worst end of the briar. So uh, when when that happens, something bad's bound to happen. And uh, we all took our turns that end, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I, I think I think curling is an emotional roller coaster ride. And if you're going to play a sport at uh, an extremely high level, like like all, like all of us do out here, you're going to go through uh, those ups and downs. So, uh, hey, we're still alive in the Briar. We still have a chance to, to make the final and to, to go out there and, and win this thing. So, um, like I said, we're going to keep our chins up here. Yeah, one win away. That was a heck of a game, heck of a win. Um, looking forward to the day off tomorrow and seeing who we play on Sunday. It took every bit of mental strength to, to not get frustrated because they were making absolutely everything for five and you know seven eighths end up until he jammed it in six and uh, got the deuce which got us a little bit of momentum and then uh, in seven we got a couple lucky breaks with Fry jamming a few peels and, and got a big steal of two and then that really flipped the game over and, and I th- think gave it all the momentum to us and we played incredibly well uh, from the seventh end on and very proud of my team. Yeah, well, I, I wasn't thinking that after the fifth end break. Um, I was like, I was wondering when it was ever going to stop. But uh, fortunately, we got a few misses. And, um, you know, I, it wasn't that we really forced him in six. He, he missed a shot. I'm sure he would say that, well, he's definitely made all week because he's made just about everything. But, um, you know, that, that kind of turned, turned the game around, I think, and just gave us a little bit more spring in our step. We were really on the verge of getting frustrated and, and uh, probably a little bit down at that point um, just because they were making so much and we just weren't as sharp as what we wanted to be. It's going to be really nervous because I, you know, I, I want to win. <laughs> and, and, and I know whoever we're going to play is going to be nervous as well. And there's a whole lot of things that come with, with winning the Briar and being Team Canada. And, and um, you know, whoever plays on Sunday against us is going to have the the feel that pressure too. I don't think we have any added pressure. We're not certainly not going to put any more pressure on ourselves. Um, you know, we have a great opportunity to, to play in front of a, a huge crowd in a Briar final. I, I think we're going to enjoy it as much as possible. But having said that, there's there's definitely going to some, be some butterflies and some jitters. Yeah, we, we stay calm, uh, but really close to getting frustrated. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I thought we, we, we were really good for the situation. I think in, in previous years, we might have been a little bit more frustrated and a little bit more down. And, you know, I, I think that, that paid off for us this year. I think, uh, you know, we got, yeah, it just paid off. Um, the rest is definitely good. Um, we're going to get an opportunity to rest tomorrow and, and on Sunday morning. So come Sunday night, we should be good and fresh and, and ready to go. The Briar final in 2007, what would you take away from that that uh, you would drop on, uh, on Sunday? Um, you know what? We, no, uh, we, we played really good, and, and I, made a, I made a mental mistake in, in the seventh end, um, no doubt about it, and, and something that I, I wouldn't do now with experience. and and uh, being at the stage of my career that I am. Uh, but we played very well. So, you know, I go into to Sunday knowing we can do it in a final, we can play well. We just need the other team to cooperate enough and, and not play better. So, um, 
and that's kind of the stage we're at with the four teams that are left is is you could play incredibly well but someone could play a little bit better and, and uh, so we're just going to go out and throw it all out there and, and see what the result glad you could wake up for this how you guys are you really no you know what really I wasn't it's the worst seat in the building and I wanted to he was putting that guard behind the corner and, and like I wanted to go over that's my excuse can you stick into it I'm sticking to it <laughs> Just describe the roller coaster ride that was tonight from your Ooh. perspective. Well, you know, for, for seven ends there, it wasn't a roller coaster. Like, they missed nothing. And we kept saying, are they ever going to give us a break or hit one on the nose? And then they did on that seven to give us two. And then the next end, man, I, they missed more shots than they missed in 11 games. Obviously, you can't count on that uh, going forward. No, 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 you can't. But, you, like, it's nice to get one once in a while. <laughs> What's your job over the next uh, 48 hours? Well, practicing. Uh, the rocks, we're not sure because we can't decide if if Jacobs wins, he'll probably take the yellow. We'll have the same rocks. But if the other teams win, we get the hammer. Well, no. If they win, we get both. So we're going to practice with both sets tomorrow. And It's more than just practice at this stage, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is to keep the boys, keep the boys fired up. They're very confident now. Brad was, wasn't sure there for a while because we took the rocks off the sea. Yeah. And those babies, if you notice, we were taking this much more ice than they were. And so we weren't sure. You see one rock go straight and then one curling. Well, keep them fired up. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Is it more a matter of keeping them settled down and uh, kind of keeping yeah. the emotions in check? Well, they'll have to be settled down because I'm settled down. So they'll have to be. <laughs> what did you learn from this guy over here? Come on up here. Come on up here. From, from uh, Skippy? Well, no, I'm using, I'm using some wisdom. Like one is, uh, I said, guys, after uh, stay close to the fifth end, one up, one down, and then it's ours. No one's going to curl us in the last five. That was our philosophy all the time. And it didn't look very good after seven, but we hung and she came.